in the late 1800s did two cowboys shoot down a pterodactyl. There is evidence. There is evidence. April 26, 1890, the Tombstone Epitaph of Arizona publishes an article detailing how local farmers shot down a large lizard-type creature they dubbed the Thunderbird. Is this story fact or fiction? You said there's evidence? There is evidence. I found... What did you find? Well, there is that initial photo that you kind of picked apart, but there's actually been other photos. And let's have a look at them today and see if we can uh, maybe pick them apart. So in this photo, we have what? 10, 12 cowboys? It's 10, four, four, and two, so it's 10. So 10 cowboys, and it looks like they're all holding up a pterodactyl, they're holding up the wings, the one guy's holding the head. So it's pretty convincing, but you picked, you noticed something. What's the thing you noticed? So they don't look right. No. They, look at the arms, mm. specifically on the guy on the left, the guy dressed dark. His right arm goes straight down, but his hand is up. Yeah, it's a very odd way to hold something with such an incredible bend. So that looks funny, you're right. And, like, is the pterodactyl even tied up, or are they just holding this massive thing up with their hands? Yeah, with this kind of weak little grip, that's true. Look at that guy holding up the head. Come on. Yeah, and that's that I see, because, it, you know, who's holding up the body? He's got this... Kind of weak sideways hand down grip. It's on like the... this holding up a giant lizard bird. You think you'd have it by like a chokehold or something? I don't think this picture is real. I think the the oddities and the way that some of the people are shaped all the way along the wings. I think it's fake. It's it's the most it's like I understand the realistic. I understand how people are convinced by it because it's not like there's anything super obvious, but. Yeah, it's it's odd how they're holding it. You think you might be holding it with your elbow up or something. It doesn't look like they're holding a lot of weight. That's true. Now, there's never been found an original photo that would disprove this, but I think the way they're holding it, you make a good point. It's clearly a Photoshop of some sort. A really good one, but one nonetheless. Okay, so this one, so this solves the problem of how is, is it being held up. There's clearly ropes. They clearly got it to some kind of beam. They're lifting it up. This one looks, we, we've solved that problem. And all the people, again, look very real. The image looks very real. It's very clear. So I find this one a lot more convincing. And this is how you would pose with something like that. So, but are we saying this is the tombstone picture or this is another picture of a pterodactyl? Well, that's, this is another picture of a pterodactyl, but this is considered the tombstone one. So is this the actual pterodactyl? Is the other one fake? But I mean, these don't look like, like Western guys. This doesn't look like 1890s. This looks like a bunch of lumberjacks standing in front of a pterodactyl. They look like they're from up north, that's true. But still, they do have a pterodactyl. So I think they are clearly posing together in front of something, and it must be a pterodactyl. So there's two things I see here. Okay. Which kind of throw me off for this image. Okay. And one has to do with the ropes. Okay. They handcuffed this poor pterodactyl to the ceiling. Oh, look at that. Look at his tiny hands. Oh my goodness, they wrapped them up. That's so they mean. They wrapped a rope around it. Oh. Wouldn't, wouldn't you put the rope under the pterodactyl to oh. hold him up? And they got one around his beak too. Is this supposed to be a live pterodactyl? <laughs> I thought it's... they shot it down. <laughs> they all have guns. Yeah. Now, that's the other thing. <laughs> These guys are modern hunters. Okay, yeah, they don't look like people from the 1800s. That's true. And they've actually got a kill in this picture. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Look look down. Okay. Between the feet, almost near the center, a little bit to the left side. What do you see? There's something there. It's kind of rounded. It looks like a foot, but not a human. If we zoom in a bit here. Yep. Enhance. <laughs> what do you see? That's deer feet. And these look like deer hunters. So you know what? Yes, these are deer hunters that went out... They got a deer, they got a big wide shot, and somebody superimposed a pterodactyl onto it. They tried to cut out the whole deer, and it didn't work out for them. They forgot to cut out those two feet. Okay, I think there's a lot of issues with this one that kind of show that this must have been a Photoshop. They didn't. They weren't thorough, they missed things. So obviously this, these are deer hunters, and someone put a pterodactyl bat-like creature. Nice try. got one more and if you look at this one it's it's the image isn't perfect but i don't see any deer feet they're not 
hanging, they're not holding it up. It's clearly on the ground. If they shot it down, that's how it would have landed. It's a little hard to see the bird, but I think it's pretty clear. You see a wing, a face. And what stands out to me is two things. One, they're taking a picture of the foreground, so very clearly you wouldn't do that for, for no reason. So there's something in front of them. And the other thing, you know, they're dressed like people from that time. So this one looks a little more convincing. I don't see any resolution issues. I don't see anything really wrong with this one. So I don't know how you can pull this one apart. <laughs> I'm glad you found this one okay. because I found it too. It's a photo from 1893, right around the same time. Perfect. Of a whole bunch of these guys in the background. Yep. Killing outlaw John Sontag, I think his name was. Okay, how do we know it is them killing John Sontag? Do you have an original photo? I do. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at this. We so, actually have the photo, the original photo. We didn't with the others, we do with this one. Go you, ahead. So you can see Mr. Sontag in the front there, dead on the ground. That's what they're taking a picture of in the foreground. And... In the background, all the different guys. Interestingly enough, the guy holding his gun yep. on the right side yep. in your photo is now on the left side. Oh, okay. But it's the same guy. He's the same stance, everything. They cut him and they pasted him over to squish it up. And you know what? They turned the resolution down. I thought it was a photo from the 1890s. Dehance. Dehance. There you go. They dehanced the photo. And you know what? It's funny. When we look back at those TikToks, anytime... Remember we kind of concluded if ever there's sort of a sketchy image or picture, like why is Bigfoot only a few seconds? Why didn't he chase them? A lot of those time travel videos, there was always some kind of blurriness. And people assume it's just because of the time period and the cameras, but usually it's because they're hiding something. And here they clearly are. So do you have anything else? I have one other thing. So this is actually, I did some good research. I'm good at doing research. And actually, I found something that kind of disproves my points. So these are photos from the, the Tombstone Epitaph. They have the, these newspapers from those dates from that time, and they have no pictures. They were unable to even create pictures, let alone pictures of pterodactyls back then. So, so they have the actual September 26th, yep. 1890 Tombstone Epitaph. And it's all just words. It's all just text. Yep. Is there an article in it about a pterodactyl? There is not. <laughs> There's no articles. It's It was a mining town, and the mining was going downhill, so that sometimes the stories got a little more sensational, but no, no stories about pterodactyls. Now, I have an update as well. Oh, okay. Which hopefully takes away a bit of your disappointment. Okay. In the 1930s, a rancher came forward, and he said that he was one of those original cowboys who shot at a pterodactyl. At it. Okay. He said that they hopped on their horses, they were chasing this thing, shooting at it, but the horses got spooked, turned around and went back to town, and they were never able to find it after that. So it didn't get shot down? Didn't get shot down, no picture was taken. It just flew away. Well, I mean, they just saw it, they shot at it, and then it flew away. So it's not a no, it's yeah. a maybe. You must have got into the minds of people, and that's what they remember. It's it's funny, it, and it makes you wonder with that story of them shooting at some bird. Maybe there was one. So it's, so it's a cryptid. It's a, a cryptid. cryptid is an animal okay. that is talked about and theorized to have existed, but has never been proved. Like Bigfoot, like a Yeti, like a sea monster. A sea monster? Any particular sea monster you're thinking about? Well, tune in next week. Four.